This video is going to quickly explain the importance of Act 2, Scene 4 in Macbeth. This is two scenes after Duncan's murder. We have seen the porter talking about equivocation and the impact of alcohol, um, and I will analyse that one in a different video. Um, but for now, this is Ross and an old man waiting outside the castle for Macduff's arrival, and then they are going to enter Macbeth's castle. They do not know that Duncan has been murdered, and yet they're talking about nature having been disrupted and strange things had happened in the natural world during the night. And they discuss them here and it's a really interesting scene. First of all, they personify the night from the start. They say that it is sore. The night is in pain. So nature has been uh, so disrupted by what Macbeth has done that nature is in pain. They also describe this struggle between darkness and light. And this is a motif throughout Macbeth, this struggle between darkness and night. The dark night is trying to strangle the traveling lamp. So dark night is trying to strangle daylight that's trying to get through. We've got that violent dynamic verb there, strangle. And they ask, is it night's predominance or the day's shame? So is it that night is strong? Or is it that day has become weak out of shame? Um, is that why nature um, is being disrupted in this way? All of this, of course, is dramatic irony at this point. The old man and Ross do not know that Duncan has been murdered. They do not know that regicide has occurred. However, they do know that there is something unnatural. And they even refer to the deed that's done. Um, so they, they do know that something has happened and the, the choice of the word, the deed there reflects Lady Macbeth's choice of the word, the deed, that euphemism to avoid talking about murder. One really lovely and interesting image, and if, if during your revision, you might want to sort of draw a picture of this, one interesting image to display this unnatural um, disruption to nature is that a falcon who is normally towering in her pride of place, was attacked by an owl, which is a totally unusual thing to happen in nature. And you could see that that could be a metaphor for regicide, a towering falcon, a symbol of strength and power has been killed by something weaker than it that would not normally kill it. Uh, the second unnatural thing that has happened in the animal world is that Duncan's horses broke out and appeared to want war with mankind and then they ate each other. Um, this is a fascinating image and again I would draw pictures of this as part of your revision. Um, if you get any question or any extract where there is reference to nature, um, there's lots and lots of images of nature throughout the play. You can refer back to this scene where Ross and the old man are talking about nature being unhappy with the world and with the deeds of the world.